50 years ago today, 26 hours after he was shot in the head, Senator Robert F. Kennedy died in Los Angeles. He had just won the California primary. In a hotel ballroom packed with supporters, Kennedy said he was headed to Chicago. CBS 2's Jim Williams explains why he was coming here. In the last days of his life, Senator Robert F. Kennedy was mobbed on the campaign trail. So many wanted to shake his hand, aides had to hold him in the car. I'm delighted to see all of you. But victory in the all-important California primary was far from certain. So when he won, there was jubilation at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. He finished his victory speech with these words. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. On to Chicago. What did he mean? Well, the Democratic Convention would be held in Chicago two months later. But first, right after the California primary, RFK was set to meet with a political heavyweight in Chicago, Mayor Richard J. Daley. Jay Doherty is president of City Club of Chicago, and for 42 years, he worked for the Kennedy family. And as he said, Daley's the whole ball game. That uh, he believed that after uh, California, he would go on to Chicago and uh, earn the nomination. Daley family members say it was likely the mayor would have endorsed Kennedy, but then he walked through the hotel kitchen. Oh, 50 years ago today, Senator Robert F. Kennedy died. I think that that one bullet really uh, helped change the course of history. So, Jim, was Kennedy a shoe in do you think, for the Democratic nomination that year? Not necessarily. Back then, in 1968, party bosses largely chose the nominees, even if someone won a lot of primaries. Mm -hmm. President Lyndon Johnson, who decided not to run for re-election, wanted his vice president, Hubert Humphrey, as the party nominee. So there would have been you know, quite a battle on the floor of the International Amphitheater. And that's why he wanted to, Kennedy wanted to get in good with the Daly. He did, and if Mayor Daly had supported him, had endorsed him, that would have gone a long way. All right, very interesting mm -hmm. history, Jim, thanks.